What we're seeing now are sub-variants of Omicron that are more contagious. We're not seeing a lot of critical cases. We're not seeing a lot of people in the hospital, but we're seeing a lot of community transmission. So variants can have immune escape. So these current variants appear to have some immune escape. So prior immunity from prior infection or vaccination is less effective. So effective in preventing serious illness, but less effective in preventing in, in, in infection. There is waning immunity from natural infection and some waning immunity from uh, the vaccinations. Because there's transmission in the community, we're seeing some people in the hospital that have incidental findings of positivity. But a lot of the cases have to do with people being tested who are in the hospital for other reasons. So we're not seeing the, the numbers of people admitted just for COVID you know, to the hospital or the ICU uh, like prior waves. If people are eligible for a second booster, which is people over 50 where it's been more than four months, I'd recommend getting it now. One of the questions I get is, is there going to be a, a different booster in the fall for new variants? We don't know, but I would, I would get it now. There's good data from, from our country and from Israel that for higher-risk people, the second booster does prevent hospitalizations. Higher-risk people who get COVID should consider uh, getting therapy. So there's an advantage if you're higher risk and over 65 or have comorbid conditions. If you get tested early, the, the new medicine, particularly Paxlovid, is very effective. It's very available now. You can get it from retail pharmacies. So if you're you know, over 60, 65 or younger and have comorbid conditions and you think you have COVID, there's an advantage of getting tested, calling your doctor and getting on the medication. It works very well.